Hey everyone, and welcome back to Drill Dozer, where we are in the art gallery, aka art museum, with almost no art at all. Uh, like, for real. Like, come on, where is uh, Salvador Dali art, Vincent van Gogh art, I don't know, like, Edward Munch art? We only have these tiny paintings with pixels on them, and that's it. Come on. Alright, some more Metal Gear sections. Uh, and here we'll have an array of enemies, but as you can see here it's a lot harder than before. Uh, because we have these lasers here as well. So we have to be careful with these guys. So yeah. So you know, I kind of thought about it, why do we have these lasers? Because in previous episode I thought it doesn't make sense why we have these lasers here, but it actually makes sense because we are in art gallery, right? So, uh, well, this place is guarded, so these are kind of, well, security lasers. So, yeah, it makes sense now. <laughs> so, yeah, I was kind of thinking, why, why do we have these lasers before, but now it makes sense. Okay, now we have these dudes with uh, shields, these police dudes. Uh, normally, you have to kind of counter-attack them, just uh, go behind them like that. But w what I like to do, I like jump on them with my drill. So yeah, that's kind of my way of dealing with them. It's kind of easier and more faster way, so to speak, because uh, well, if you normally deal with them, it takes time. So yeah, so yeah, remember this door from before? Yeah, now we can enter this one. And yes, we are still looking for the red diamond, as you can see. Ooh. Metal block can get there. So let me just destroy this uh, pathetic art here. Like, what, what the hell are these things? Like, anyway, it's not art at all. I prefer fire extinguishers and stuff even more. Okay. By the way, here is uh, yeah, here is a blue block which we can drill through. But obviously, this one holds, uh, I think, maybe chips or something. But this one, though, uh, metal block, it has a shortcut. For example, as you can see here, we have a tube, so if we go through this one... Yeah, we are here, and that metal block basically leads uh, to this room. Ow, crap. Okay, so this dude, uh, if you see that he is trying to run at you, then just use your drill normally. Like this. But if you see that he is trying to jump at you, then just use your drill upwards. That's my way of dealing with this dude. Ow, which not always is working, <laughs> as you can see. And yeah, as you can see, he has uh, two forms. Uh, he is a blue robot dog, and then he's just a regular metal robot dog. But overall, it can get quite annoying if you don't know how to deal with him. But after a while... He goes down and leaves some nice chips. So yeah, you see that metal block? Yeah, it leads here, as you can see. So it's basically like a shortcut, and as I said, uh, many of these uh, sort of like unique blocks, which again can drill through for now, uh, they only reveal secret passages that leads to some shortcuts, basically. Nothing too interesting, so I'll be showing off only these blocks, uh, these unique blocks which lead to some sort of treasures. So, yeah. Ooh. What is this room, anyway? Drill Dozer room. My room? No, because I am a Drill Dozer, no? Ooh, what do we have here? Robot with a screw. A shiny, shiny screw. So I guess we have to drill through it. <laughs> but yeah, this robot, he's kind of standing in the way, as you can see. There's a passage there, so uh, let's just destroy it. But, you know, that robot looked so cool, maybe I could just hop onto it and leave my little tiny dozer behind. Because that robot looked so great. Uh. Hooey! Way to go, boss! Uh. Wow, the police sure make their robots on the cheap. That one was held together by just one screw. Remove it and the whole thing falls to pieces. Well, yeah, we don't have that sort of plot that sort of problem with our tiny little red dozer here, I guess. 
Okay, let's go through this red pipe. By the way, we'll have a boss battle soon. So I want to show you off one mechanic which will be really, really useful in that boss battle. And speaking of that, robots, you know, uh, well, I'm pretty sure we'll never meet him again. I would never deal with that guy, come on. That, that, that thing was huge. Okay, so you see, uh, here we have painting. So let's place it here, but before that, uh, take a closer look at the upper part here. You see these dudes here? So, yeah, let's place it now. So, because these blocks, they <laughs> disappear, and then you have to deal with these dudes here. Ha! Ha! And by the way, it actually makes sense why there are these police dudes here. Um, well, they are security guards here as well and for some reason they have sort of like a <laughs> toned down versions of uh, drill dozers only without the drills so yeah <laughs> okay let me show you one mechanic which will be useful in the boss battle so you see when you drill to an enemy you can uh, press the opposite direction of your drill like the opposite button uh, and then just make this back off move, you know, like this one, which is which will be really, really useful, useful in the boss battle. Well, you'll see how it will work out. So yeah, Ooh, some more metal blocks and disappearing and reappearing blocks. So let me see, mm -hmm, maybe some, you know, okay. I was checking, was checking for some uh, maybe blocks that I can drill through, secret blocks. Ha! Yes. By the way, here, if you drill here, you reveal a secret passage with ho which holds a lot of goodies here. Yeah, look at that. To be honest, guys, uh, before recording, I actually discovered this room only like right now, like just recently. So I didn't knew about this room. I didn't knew like it ever existed like at all. So it was something new for me as well. Yeah, I didn't know about this room. As you can see, it holds a lot of chips, a lot of goodies. So really, really great room. Ha! Ha! Here we go. Yeah, we'll, we'll be needing these chips for some more uh, energy tanks that we can buy. So, yeah. Ha! Here we go. All right, that's it here. Ooh, statues. So here we have sort of like a statue puzzle. If you look at the upper part of the screen, you see all these statues are facing uh, one direction, which is to the left. But if you take a closer look, there is one head of the statue which is facing to the right. Yeah, you see that one? So, well, it is pretty obvious where we have to place this uh, big statue head. Yeah, and apparently Jill has big, big muscles. That's right. Here we go. Okay, let me uh, check this. Okay, he, not, not, nothing here, so we have to go there. Yeah, I was, was, was just thinking maybe there's something here. Okay, careful. Here we go. Right. And ooh, some more blocks. Yeah, we, which is uh, well, uh, this one obviously leads to some more chips. Okay, I want to. Yeah, here, nice. To get some of these extra chips and some extra life energy. You know what that means? If a game gives you life energy. That means they will have boss battle soon enough. No, this place, it doesn't look like an art gallery or art museum. I'm getting out of here, come on. Ooh, what's that? Where are we now? Theater! Hmm. Okay. So the art gallery leads to the theater, that's interesting. Red Red Curtain with some enemies! Uh, so here, this is the section where there will be a wave 
of enemies of these dudes, these police dudes. So we have to get rid of them pretty fast because yeah, you see there are more, more and more dudes appearing constantly. Ow. So yeah, have to be careful of these, of these guys. Oh god, police dog! Ha! Here, puppy, 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 puppy. Here, puppy, puppy. Ah! No, I'm not a dog person in real life, like at all. I'm more of a cat person. Maybe that's why I have so so much hard time dealing with this dog here. Ah! Maybe you want some Scooby snack, no? Ah. Okay, careful. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Ah. Got you! And some chips! Well, what's what's now? Oh god, the music stops! No! Oh crap! Hey, that was that... robot! Well, you know, what's up guys? Uh, this is our boss, yeah... Well... We'll be dealing with this boss on the stage... Sadly, with no audience, so no one will actually see how I kick the butt of this dude. Eh. Oh well. That guard robot is just like the one you destroyed earlier. Uh, however, this one won't hesitate to attack. Even your drill can protect you from its powerful punches. So it's a boxing match or something like uh, this robot. It, he he kind of looks like a boxer or something. When his fists turn red, get ready to dodge. Yeah, remember this one, uh, this mechanic, so it will be really useful in this boss battle. Alright, so normally this boss, uh, well, he kind of attacks you like that. But yeah, but when, when his fist is red, when he wants to make this hook, then just back off with that mechanic that I showed you earlier. Because otherwise he'll damage you. So yeah, and then, well, the screw is revealed and you can drill onto it. So that's how this boss, boss battle is working. You can dodge his uh, red fist of fury without this backing off mechanic, but it's extremely hard because the dozer is really, really slow. So yeah, I just prefer my method. Maybe someone else prefers this method as well. Pretty nice uh, technique. Ha! Counter attack! Dodged your right hook there. I think it was right hook, not left hook. What is this, like a Robocop or something? Like, what the hell is that? Oh, crap. Didn't manage to dodge that one. Yeah, uh, the thing is, uh, try to stand, like, when you are attacking with your drill, try standing on the left side. Because if you'll stand to the right and he'll try to attack you, you, don't, you won't have enough space. Um, well, to avoid his attack, so to speak, so, uh, yeah. What is this, like, what is this anyway now? Now it's, it's kind of like, I don't know, like a safe room or something. Camera, don't watch me! Yeah, what, what the hell is that thing? That safe door up ahead is way too, uh, way too tough for you to drill through. Your drill dozer's gears are also probably pretty worn away by now anyway. Come on back to the trailer, and I'll fix you up! Yeah, for some reason uh, I always have uh, these two guys, Grutch and Guillermo, mixed up for some reason. I don't know, I kinda m I'm mixing up their names. <laughs> so, so if so something like that happened throughout this Let's Play for now, so sorry guys. But, uh, maybe that's... May maybe... Maybe one of the reasons why I mix them up is because both of their names are kinda... Starting uh, with G. Like Germo, Grudge, so maybe that's why. A red diamond must be locked away in the giant vault in that room. That's a problem, because the lock on the museum vault has three dials. The release lever, or lever, is supposedly somewhere nearby, but... I guess we'll just have to get back in there and find out. Okay, so yeah guys, uh, yeah, let's save. This is it for the first act of this level, but now we have second act, but you know, before proceeding further... Let's see, do I have enough chips? Yes, I do! Nice, uh, yeah, now we can buy one more 
energy tank. I think nothing else is available for now, so only one energy tank, so let's buy that one. Yes, I want that life energy! Here we go, and we have four health bars. And by the way, uh, energy tanks are not working like in Mega Man games. You don't have to replenish them uh, by yourself. They are automatically added to your whole health. So basically, when one health bar disappears when you take damage, then you have another one. So you, you don't have to manually use them to activate them. So that's how it is working. Come back soon with more chips! Alright, dude! And yeah, guys, uh, let's check the map. So yeah, now we have Act 2 of the second le level, Museum Vault. But what, what awaits us next in this, well, museum, art museum, art gallery, where there's almost nothing art-related at all? Only red fire extinguishers, which apparently are the only thing which is related to modern art there. Well, find out next time on Let's Play Drill Dozer. So yeah, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next part.